Guess who's turning 40? Who? Millennials. Oh, that's right. They're yep. knocking on that door, uh, aren't they? Millennials are turning 40, and apparently, Fester, you saw this. Yeah. Millennials are what? They're freaking out. Freaking the freak out. I mean, think about it. You spend your whole life hating somebody who's 40 and over, and up oh, here you <laughs> are. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to 40. Yeah. You know, and you know, it, everybody ages, and you know, these ages, I remember thinking how old people were. I'm like, oh my God, that guy's so old. He's like 34. You know? Yeah. Like, Especially when you're a 20 something yeah. girl, you're like, oh, look at that old guy. He's 32. <laughs> hey, any, any millennials listening right now that are turning 40 or you're about to or just did, is this a thing? Are millennials really freaking out? Listen, I, I'm Gen X. I don't think I freaked out when I turned forty. Nah, no, nah, I don't. Not at all. You know, I mean, the decades are big birthdays, though. Yeah, they do freak you out. I mean, you know, uh, you know what? Let, let me see if I can grab a couple of calls yeah, here. Do it. Are you a millennial? Have you just turned forty? Are you about to turn forty? And do you believe this story that millennials turning forty are freaking out right now? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, true or false? Confirm or deny? 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. But it's something about the millennial generation. And the millennials are what? Gen Z is 96 to like 2012. The millennials are what? what like Late 80s to yeah, early 90s? Yeah, that yeah. Time? This is when we need yeah, that helpful, to, to mid 90s. helpful chart that my sister made yeah, for oh, you, MJ. So oh, I guess stop it, it would, with your sister's <laughs> chart. If they're turning 40, then they were born in 84. Gotcha. So 84 to 90-something. Right. Yeah. So are you freaking out? Are you a millennial? Are you freaking out? Are you turning 40? Did you just turn 40? Are you getting close to turning 40 and you're a millennial? Is this true or false? Is this just made-up crap? That millennials are freaking out because of 40. They're absolutely terrified uh, to hit the big four. Uh, 800 99. Look at the phones. Every line is ringing. 800 990 1047 gets you in. You know, I haven't had any age. There, there's been no age or like a uh, a decade milestone. Nothing has freaked me out. Now, You're the, one cool customer. Uh, well, the next one might because I, I I can't even fathom it because I feel like I'm 27. Yeah, I mean the next one you start getting like all the senior discounts. Oh my god! All right. Anyway, so uh, folks, yes or no? Are you a millennial? Did you just turn 40? Getting close? And are you freaking out? Or is this a non-story? 800-990-1047. That's how you get in. Take a couple of calls here. 800-990-1047. And then, man, I got a date story. I've got a date item of a, a, a guy and a girl meeting for a date, and then it turns out they're doing the same thing in the parking lot prior to you got to hear this. This is crazy. <laughs> we'll get to that coming up in just a minute. And then a creepy roommate story. Ooh, oh, my God. This is a Halloween creepy. Well, it has nothing to do with Halloween. It's just creepy, and it's Halloween. All right, so you got to hear this. It's coming up in a minute. Uh, let me grab calls here. Mike in Lakeland. Mike, hi. You're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105, 104.7 FM. Hello. Hey, MJ. How are you doing today? Good, Mike. How old are you? Uh, in, I just turned 40 in September. All right. So you qualify. You're right here in the You're right in the hunt here. Did you freak out as a millennial turning 40? Uh, well, I, I don't know if you could call it freaking out. Uh, I would say, I don't know, it was like a big life change. I've I've noticed a lot of my, you know, people close to me, my friends, those type of people, they seem to be very nostalgic at this age. Like I don't know if it's like a if it's because of the age of the internet, you know, there's a lot of nostalgia that's like thrown at you, especially in like Instagram reels, stuff like that. Mm. But uh I did notice I was just like, Oh, I'm forty now, you know, like my knee hurts. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I don't sleep well anymore. I'm not a young kid, and you know, I, 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 have, I have two young kids of my own. Uh, one's eleven, one's five, and when I'm around them, I just want to be a kid again all the time. Aww. Well, listen, so, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, stay young. I mean, my wife calls me a man child. 
You know, that's your, your attitude of, keeps yeah. you young. That's because of your tantrums. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have I don't have tantrums. Uh, you don't don't yeah. have them. Yeah. Uh, All right, Mike. Thanks for the call, buddy. Mike brings up a good point. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, because um, you know I think there's a comedian who did this, but Brian Regan, and basically once you hit that age, forty whatever it is, and you go to the doctor and you're like, my knee hurts, and they're like, yeah. It does now. You're 40. Your, your stuff's <laughs> going to hurt now. That's not always the case, but I understand what you're yeah. saying. All right, Stephanie in Tampa. Stephanie, hi. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hey, MJ. How are you? Doing fine. Go ahead. Um, I actually uh, turned 40 in February, so I've kind of got time to be acclimated to being 40. But I would say that it's not really so much freaking out. I think a lot of people just are not prepared in life for turning 40. So 40 might look a lot different once you get there. Um, Cause a lot of times I think when I thought of 40, I thought of like old pop belly, like, and that's not really what I'm seeing anymore. I think. So um, are you looking good at 40, Stephanie? Is that what you're telling us? I think I'm looking excellent at 40. Excellent. So, I don't feel it's the same. so you've had what, 10 months or so to kind of get acclimated to, to 40. And uh, do, you, do you feel better now, Steph? I do. I don't, it's not as, I mean, I don't know if it's not as scary just because I'm already here and I don't have a choice but to deal with it. But um, it does, I mean, I remember being 20 thinking 40, I'm like not far from death. So oh, yeah. it's definitely, I just, I <laughs> sincerely remember thinking that. And I remember my parents being 44 and that was super old to me. So yeah. I just think your perspective changes as you get there. So oh, I don't absolutely. really think you freak out once you finally, finally uh, arrive. Steph, you sound very healthy. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. You do. Thank you. Uh, Cheryl in Sarasota. Cheryl, you're a millennial. Yeah. How, how old are you? Are you 40 now or about to be 40? Okay. Here's the deal. You ready? Yep. Yeah. I, um, I'm i turning 65 in March. 40, you people are babies. You, are, you have your whole life to live. Go out skydiving. Go out, do the parasailing. This is your time. Rob a bank. Yeah. Live it up. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't rob a bank. You're absolutely Are you right. Are listening to me? Because yeah. this yes, is we, ridiculous. Yes. 40. We, 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 40, you could do anything you want. Yeah. You know what kind of crap it is to turn 65? <laughs> Holy crap. You have no idea. <laughs> your parts start falling out when you, when you get up in the morning. Well, you're pooping it's your like, pants? What's going on? No, I'm not. I work in an assisted living. All right, okay. I, I, uh, sorry. I um, I am extra. No, don't be because I'm doing. I'm doing good deeds. Oh no no I'm yeah. not I'm no no I'm, I'm sorry for saying pooping your pants. Yeah, That's what I was yeah making yeah. jokes. No, I think it's very nice yeah. you work in an assisted living facility. I work in assisted living, love it. And um, here's the thing: forty is nothing. All right, so you're telling any 40-year-old millennials that are freaking out that yeah. they're 40, you're telling them, hey, get a life and shut up. Get a life and shut up. There we go, just like that. Cheryl, thanks for the call. Uh, Stephanie and Wesley Chapel. Stephanie, MJ Morning Show, you're up. Hey, um, I'm actually, I'm 42, um, so I've kind of been through it. And um, I agree with the guy, um, the first guy who said, there's a lot of nostalgia. You know, all of a sudden it it becomes real that, you know, you are getting older and no 40 and 42 is not that old, you know, but, um, you know, I find me and my husband, we just sit there and we laugh about stuff from the eighties or, you know, you know, just, you know, just thinking about past times and, um, you know, of course there's a lot of like looking towards the future, of course, but you know, things do change once you hit about 40. You're absolutely yeah. right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, Steph, thanks for the insight. I appreciate it. I right, one more call on this, and then we'll move on. Sabbath. Look at that. Sabbath in Tampa. Hey, hey Sabbath. Hey. Hey, MJ, long-time listener. Been listening to you since the MJ and B. First-time caller. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. How old are you now? You're 40? I am uh, 41. Okay, so... You turned 40 a year ago. Did you, yep. like, freak out as a millennial turning 40? No, I think it's uh, – I, I think the article is uh, complete BS. I think once I turned 40 or once I, – I think it just depends on where you are in life. Like, right now in my 40s, I have a, a great family, beautiful wife and kids. I got a great job. My career is doing well. So 40, I, I'm like, all right, this is a new chapter. I'm looking forward to it because I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place. 
in my 20s, I was freaking out because I was a broke college student. In my mm. 30s, I was a young married guy, and I had no idea what to do. Uh, but now, I, you know, I feel like I got it together finally. Good for you. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Sabbath, thanks for calling in after all these years. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Have a good one, guys. Look at that. First time. Been listening. You know, MJ and BJ days. Those, those go back. That's 1994. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah. That's 1994 to 2001. And he's been a listener uh, all those years. That's quite remarkable. <laughs> Did you like the video? Want more? Go ahead and click all this like, share, subscribe.